morning, cinnamon bun. So it is five minutes to seven in the morning. I don't know why I'm awake so early. <laughs> well, I mean, I have an idea, but I'm just not happy about it. Um, I couldn't really get to sleep last night. I was up later than usual and um, I think it's because today is a writing day, but it's also a special writing day. I think I'm just a bit nervous and excited and um, I got to sleep really late and I also woken up really early. Like I woke up like before six <laughs> and then I couldn't get back to sleep. So I've just been listening to a bit of The Adventure Zone in bed and now it's time to actually start getting ready and stuff. Um, because I am heading out to meet Kirsty for a writing day at 10.30. So I need to get breakfast and get ready. <sighs> Happy vlog day. So I just had a quick uh, task to do for the Story Magic Academy there. I had an academy deadline um, that was pretty tough, um, which I actually had a project to do for it and I finished that yesterday. The deadline was yesterday. So um, this is my first day of like freedom post deadline. Um, and yeah, I'm dressed and things, but... I woke up like really hungry and my appetite is just kind of gone or it was gone um, and I just really didn't fancy eating any of the things that I have in my fridge right now. Um, it's about, what time is it? Not even eight o'clock yet. That's crazy. Yeah, it's five minutes to eight um, and I am up and dressed and I've done my makeup. It's crazy. I mean, I guess I could just go in early and get some breakfast before I meet Kirsty. Mm. What do? What do? What do? So we're going to a coffee shop that I've not been to before, which is actually a roastery. I actually used to work with both of the guys that run that place. I've never been there um, and it's a little bit out of the way. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat anything there because gluten. So my safest option is to be well fed by the time I get there. So gonna have to eat something. Maybe I'll just have wheat picks. <laughs> Okay. We're back on. 
Young is short for Richard, and Doc is short for Roger. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah. <laughs> he says this this weapon is in. Okay, don't do it again. Don't do it again. I nearly just burnt my toast twice in a row. That's my alarm just going off right now. That's how early I woke up. Yes, okay, exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's a little, it's going to sound a little bit batshit, but it's very exciting as well. Okay. Um, I've quit. I can't guess what this is I've quit that. writing nurses at the end. I'm okay. done. I've just decided, like, some cost fallacy. I've okay. just done with it. And so today is day one on my new novel. So I'm really excited. That doesn't sound batshit at all. I'm incredibly happy, <laughs> please. Thank you. I never would have suggested to you that you do that, but I do think it's the right choice. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. It just, oh, God. It was just. Like, I am a bit sad that, like, I do really like a lot of the characters and stuff, and I'm like... I did that, like, um, the first time I ever wrote, I, like, completely rewrote it from scratch three times. Yeah. Because I, like, couldn't let it go. Like, the core of it wasn't working, but you kept trying to put stuff yeah, in it. Yeah, uh -huh. and, like, I, I actually yeah. made a ton of progress, like, with, like, I figured out what wasn't working and stuff, but then I was, like, faced with, like, actually having to redo it all, and I was just like, this is just like because I think it would still be a good book at the end of it but it's not worth it when my heart isn't in it anymore I think like, you can move past it well. yeah exactly like, I'm a totally different, different, different person yeah. yeah it's it reflects my interests and what I cared about like yeah. you know almost six years ago <laughs> which is crazy oh. so yeah today's day one so new exciting. novel yeah what about That's you amazing oh, what's the name what's the name <laughs> <laughs> what
do you like to not really talk about it until um, you've done it? I did this whole decision making process of like writing all the pros and cons and, and finally came to this decision and um, within an hour of doing that I was like cool I know that I'm doing a novel next and I know that it's going to be probably this thing. I'm like psychological model, so I'm like, I think it does work, but I think it's because you think it works. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like being passed down to her, or it's something that's in her family, or that she has, even it doesn't come naturally to her, but she's taken a long time to learn how to do it. Yeah, I think I want to, I think I want to avoid the heritage thing, so I feel like that's like, almost a cliche at this point, Reese. Yeah. Um, and I do just want it to be like, it's a craft like anything else. Um, I suppose the main question is like, what, what are people doing with it? Yeah, I need to establish like, what can you do with it? Yeah. And what can you not do with it? Yeah. Good evening. I have just arrived home. I went to uh, a place called Dumpling Monkey for dinner, uh, for a treat, but also because I don't really have much food in the house at the moment. And I forgot to take a clip or anything or to take out my camera at all. I was so focused on like just food now. Um, but yeah, so I'm home. I uh, had a pretty good day with Kirsty. Um, I started a brand new novel today. <laughs> Um, so I got my story seed put together um, I chose, I kind of crafted my theme for this story and I identified the central conflict. I made a start on some of the world building mechanics because it is going to be a fantasy story so there's going to be some magic and stuff. So I'm pretty happy with that progress. Um, I could have gotten into the plot embryo today if I'd remember to bring a freaking pencil. <laughs> Um, which I did not, 
But um, I think theme and conflict, so internal and external quadrants, um, and a little bit of world building is pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to continuing to work on this. I'm pretty dang tired now, given how early I woke up. And my period is on the way. I'm just feeling a bit worn out and I'm really looking forward to just getting into my pajamas and just having a super chill evening. Um, I have been watching and re-watching uh, Supergirl, Gilmore Girls, Elementary, so I'll pick something nice and I'll just have a really nice cozy evening. But it's been a pretty good day and I'm really excited about the story and um, I can't wait to just like bash out a plot embryo for it and um, you know throw together a couple of world building mechanics and just like dive into drafting in probably the space of a few days since i had this idea for this story which is really exciting good night cinnamon bun <laughs>